Well, following last night's retirement reception for longtime Geneva Police Chief Tony Clemens, today, former Dothan Police Lieutenant Pepper Mock took the helm. WDHN's Mike Grispan says Chief Mock grew up in nearby Sampson and savors the opportunity to serve now in his native Geneva County. You solemnly swear? You solemnly swear. To support the Constitution of the United States? To support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Alabama? And the Constitution of the State of Alabama. With his wife and children alongside, Pepper Mock took the oath of office. The 16-year veteran of the Dothan Police Department and one-time Geneva County Sheriff candidate says it was hard to leave the Circle City, but this is an important opportunity to come home. Yeah, it's a big responsibility, but uh, I look forward to it. I look forward to uh, I look forward to being here every day and getting to do the job I love with the people I know and love. Chief Mock says integrity and honesty have always been the foundation of his professional career, and that philosophy will be instilled in his department. And especially based on, on, on integrity, professionalism, and duty. And I think all three are equally important, and, and, and that encompasses a lot of uh, a lot of traits and a lot of characteristics, but. Uh, they're all they're all equally important. Chief Mock says that he would like to implement some of the standards and procedures used within the Dothan Police Department. You know, I spent uh, the last four years or better uh, in a, in a semi-administrative role, uh, yeah, being uh, an assistant commander of, a, of the uh, special Re response team. That 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 had its own way of preparing me. And with the beginning of Chief Mock's tenure, the water in the fountain in front of City Hall was turned blue to symbolize law enforcement. Reporting in Geneva, Mike Rispan, WDHN News for the Wiregrass. And Chief Mock says he believes in community policing and wants Geneva residents to know he has an open door policy to hear their concerns.